want to show you a, a picture of our uh, bank robber. They call him the Holiday Bandit. Armed with a gun, he's hit up seven banks in the New York area in the past two months. He has a gun. Uh, he's uh, displayed a gun in six of the seven robberies that he's been uh, involved in. So, yes, I would consider him to be dangerous. Police identify him as Murat Mikhailich, a six foot five Ukrainian who towers over bank tellers while demanding money. He has a note he, uh, in. in uh, Six of the seven robberies, the note was computer generated. In the last robbery, it was a handwritten note. I don't have the verbiage, but it's uh, in essence, uh, you know, give me, give me all the money you have. His brazen robberies have landed him on the same list as Osama bin Laden, the FBI's most wanted. His most recent stick-up occurred Wednesday at this investor savings bank in Queens. Customers here say things are amazingly normal the day after. Well, it's very, quite comfortable. I know the people, uh, the, the manager, Manuel, and uh, the young lady, Rosa, that was behind the counter, the teller. Not a problem. Police say Mikhailich only pocketed $300 Wednesday, but altogether, officials estimate he's made off with more than $50,000, stealing cash from four banks in Queens, three in Brooklyn, and one in Staten Island. His seven-bank spree started in early December, leading to his nickname, Holiday Bandit. Anything with a bandit, it's not a good, uh, good name. Law enforcement identified him through fingerprints he's left on notes and bank slips. There's little known about the gangly Ukrainian with no criminal record. So FBI officials are relying for clues from the public, saying, quote, someone somewhere knows something and we need them to speak up. Until then, police are waiting for him to slip up. They expect he could strike any day now. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press.